Thank you very much for watching Funk Stylers TV. We're saying hello to you from New York, and today we have a special guest. Um, the one of the most uh, hardworking people, the amazing person, and a great teacher and dancer, hero from Japan. Thank you very much for doing this interview with us. Um, for those who don't really know much about you, can you sh shortly explain how you started doing house dancing and how did you learn? Uh, okay. Um, when I start, actually, like when I start dancing as a hip hop style mm. from Japan in Japan, because I'm originally from like really countryside. Japan so my hometown doesn't have any studio crafts nothing mm -hmm. so I just watching like videos and TVs and I'm trying to try to imitate mm -hmm. this but uh, after for a while I'm started visiting New York a couple of times to see like house dancers here and I changed my mind to you know doing house stuff so that's how I start but why did you change your mind because uh, the image of house dancing in Japan, like back in the days, it's kind of like not strong and not, not like freedom, like not like freestyle. So everybody doing the same step over and over. Mm -hmm. But when I came to New York, I see the many people dancing in a different way and a special way, like really unique. And it seems like really strong and having fun. So that's why I start. Okay. And um, did you have one main teacher or a lot of teachers and who were they? I can say my mainly my teacher is Brian Green mm -hmm. because I took his class so many times. Um, but uh, I can say Shanes because he's my roommate. Mm. And also the whole dance fusion family, Marjorie, Seiku, Khalif, Tony McGregor, Latricia, and Mike. Um, not dance vision, but book and cherry. Mm -hmm. like, all like house dances, Ijo also. Yeah. Okay, so you had quite a lot. <laughs> so I know that recently you have been visiting New York quite a number of times. Is there a specific reason for that? Are you developing some plans that you can share? Uh, yes, uh, because I'm started working with the music company in Japan and they're going to start to open up the studio in New York and I'm just helping them to coordinate all the teachers and also like little, I give them like advice because in New York, uh, we need a place, like uh, we need a studio, like what is like focus on like a street dance style because like hip hop or house dancing is, this is the mecca of house dancing and hip hop. Mm -hmm. But we don't have so much studios in New York to represent like on street dance. Mm -hmm. So that's why I suggest them to open up the studio for street dance style and it's gonna be dope and everybody look forward. Okay, so where is it going to be and when is it going to be open? Uh, the location is gonna be the lower east side mm -hmm. of Manhattan. It's 2nd Avenue and the Foster Street. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe we're going to open up in September. Okay. Okay, so you guys watching, keep in mind. Yes. And um, who is going to be teaching there? Uh, it's quite a lot, like mm -hmm. over like 30 teachers. Okay, can you share a few names? Uh, the hip hop is Tweety, Sraya, Spex, and Bobby Malich, okay. Eric Negron, uh, Aunt Boogie. Valentine, and for house, Seiku, Tony McGregor, Cricket, Linda, and Sibo, and Michelle, and for popping is popping Todd and Catalyst, and locking is Fire Lock, and the Bebo is Kid Cry and the Cyclone from the Stephens, and Jeff Selby for Hustle, Mr. Yay. Hustle, <laughs> and Habio Ninja. And Daniel Franco for both, and Princess Rokaru and Nubian Nene for walking. I think so far, yeah, that's it. But st uh, still, like we try to get to some new style too. It's a uh, light feet. Nice. Yes, uh, yeah. we're gonna have Crybaby and Keenan, yeah, aka Silencer. So he's gonna teach also. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be dope. Actually, yeah. I don't think is it taught in the studios. 
Hmm? Lightfeet hasn't been taught in the studios before? Um, not really. Yeah, it's like a local cool. star of New York. Yeah. Because young, more young hairs doing all the styles. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be interesting. Yeah. So apart from you dancing, teaching, working with the music company, what else do you do? Um, I own my own studio in Japan, in mm -hmm. Tokyo. And also I'm producing, I mean, yeah, I'm producing for the college course, like street oh, really? dance. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, the college and the street dance in Japan. And also I'm organized many events. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like this. But everything is, it's about the dancing. Mm -hmm. Do you ever sleep? Actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not much. So I wonder, imagine if you haven't been doing all those things and you weren't involved in street dance, what else would you do instead of that? Um, I think because uh, I dropped out of the high school, my mm -hmm. high school, but I used to go to the high school for the technology stuff. Oh, so okay. I was making the computers and robot. So I think maybe I might do that one. Okay, that's yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> Um, do you have any favorite DJs, music bands, or other music artists? Um, I don't have any like, specific DJ or artist because uh, mostly like I like deep house mm -hmm. stuff from all over the world. So I don't care about which country it is. But uh, like my personally, I love little jazz music. Mm -hmm and mix with like house music so i like jazz and nova mm -hmm. and do you know they actually came to lithuania to perform quite recently and i saw them live amazing oh, yeah yeah um, yeah and also uh, one band uh this is from japan mm -hmm. it's called soil and the pimp session mm -hmm. so they playing like all the jazz stuff but their live is so good and they've been on tour like in Europe many often. So if you guys see this band, so it's going to be fun. Yeah, I should keep in mind. Um, so most of us, most of people dance because uh, they are moved by music. But I have a question. For example, if you're in a battle and you get the track that you don't feel or you don't like, what do you do? Um, I'm always trying to be best mm -hmm. you know, when I dance, but I cannot resist my feeling. So sometimes if I'm not feeling that, you know, with the music, I cannot really move. You know, I just try to move, but you know, not really in a good moment, I mean, good way. Mm -hmm. mm, I just have to follow the music. If I don't like, then I cannot dance. Mm -hmm. So listen to me, I'm, I'm trying to be honest with my feeling and with my body. So I cannot fight with this because, yeah, like, like for example, battle is always people dance to be win. But for me, is the battle is also one of the game you know, for the dancing. So I'm just having fun. I just want to try to have fun. And if I don't feel the music, I really cannot have fun. Mm -hmm. And my body tells me like, I shouldn't do all the tricks. So that's why I stopped the dancing. I stopped the leg like, really move. Mm -hmm. So this is what I feel recently. Okay. And um, I know you've been learning some hustling recently. Yeah. Do you like partner dancing and why? Yes, because for us, like Japanese people, we are really shy. Mm. You know, we even like we don't touch the female. You know, just shake hands, no hugs. Mm -hmm. But we are the human, so we like to communicate with the people, of course. But it's like this is our culture. You know, mm -hmm. we are not really uh, touching, hugging, you know, not so many times. But in a hustle or some partner dance. We can feel like the partners feel also. So not by myself. Because uh, like for example, like 
the same way I think that as a street dance because if we go to the club mm -hmm. it's good music but if we dance by myself like alone and we're not gonna have fun not so much mm -hmm. but if we mm -hmm. dancing together <clears throat> with your friends with somebody else then we can have more fun so it's mm -hmm. for me it's the same thing mm -hmm. so the part partner dancing it's <clears throat> it makes me like more fun not alone Mm -hmm. So, so is is there any partner <clears throat> dancing that young people do in Japan or not really? I think not really. Mm -hmm. Is it because really. of the culture? Yes, because uh, I can see many people doing salsa. In oh, Japan. really? Okay. Yes, but uh, I prefer the, the hustle mm -hmm. because not so much like emotional move. Okay. Because salsa needs more emotion. <laughs> but Fire. We are, yeah, but we are too shy uh -huh. to do this. So that's why the hustle is like more smart way, I think. Yeah. So that's why I love it. Okay. So say a dancer uh, from Europe or from America or from wherever in the world is coming to Tokyo. Mm. What are the places uh, he or she can experience the Tokyo street dance scene? Any clubs or specific jams, events, studios? Um, actually, like in Tokyo or in Japan, like we got so many events going on, like almost every night. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, like no holidays. Even like, you know, the dancers organize the party or events, especially the weekdays, so not on the weekends. So Monday to Friday, so you can find the, uh, all the dance events uh, somewhere in the club in Tokyo. But, I mean, you know, you can see what's going on there. And also, I can say the Yasuda building. That's, oh, Yasuda building, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, uh, <clears throat> that's actually like an um, insurance company uh -huh. and in Shinjuku. So they got like a huge building and the people just staying outside and watching the uh, the buildings like because that's kind of mirror mm -hmm. so you can see it. Oh, okay, okay. So they can stay all night to practice. Do they stay all night to practice? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's the Asian cultures for you guys. <laughs> yeah, so if you're coming to Japan, you can just see the Yasta building, how it goes because I think maybe I can, I, can, I, I, I saw the maximum is like 300 people staying outside of the building 300 wow yeah. that's a party right there <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah. okay um you probably have traveled all over the world the world with your work um what countries are coming up in terms of house dancing at the moment um for me is recently i went to i've been to peru mm -hmm. and peru got not big house community, but it's improving right now, really, because mm -hmm. uh, they got their traditional dance. It's called sepateo. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like mixed with like crap and the tap thing. Mm -hmm. So they got like unique uh, sense of the rhythms. Mm -hmm. So I can see they doing like basic house step, but they got own rhythms. So it's kind of really looks unique and nice. special. And also like the physical, it's get really strong. So mm -hmm. they can do many flips and all the tricks. So it's, they mix everything. So for me, it's, I got really surprised because they do so good with the house dancing. That's great, it's very authentic. What about anywhere <clears throat> else in the world? <clears throat> mm, I can say Singapore. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I got some of the students there, so they work really hard. They try to make in the community now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel always to get strong, improving is Russia. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm, I mean, like not only Russia, maybe like East Europe. Mm -hmm. Because I've been to SDK every year. Mm -hmm. So I've seen like, many dancers from Ukraine, Belarus, Kazakhstan, like, Estonia, mm -hmm. Lithuania. Like, these countries get really improved 
for me, it's like every time I see them, they're really sharp. That's great. Yeah. Um, and what would you say, what would you believe makes a great dancer? Mm, for me, the great dancer is, actually, I don't know, because uh, we cannot judge ourselves. Mm -hmm. I'm good or not. For me, is still, I don't have not strong confidence. So still I'm trying to be best all mm -hmm. the time. But if people start to like my dance or my personality, for me, is I can feel like little confidence mm -hmm. by this. So, but I'm always trying to be mm, nice as a Japanese people mm -hmm. because we are not really aggressive person like we are really calm and also we always be patient mm -hmm. all the stuff so not complain so much so I'm just keep calm not fighting and try to be like really uh, I don't know how to say friendly Mm -hmm. Nice to everybody mm -hmm. because I love dancing and I love the people who like dancing. So there's no reason to against somebody else. So and now it's I feel like really dancing is can be really global. So world is getting really small. Mm -hmm. Like me, you know, I can I never imagine like like small Japanese guy going to different country to teach as a house you know still i cannot believe this but it's happened mm -hmm. so for me it's really grateful like it's really thankful for this so i'm always try to be keep remind this mm -hmm. so this makes me i think maybe i can say this makes me to be great mm -hmm. dancer because mm -hmm. if we have this mind mm -hmm. like don't always like not forget about this feeling because mm -hmm. sometimes if we start to make if, if we became like really famous dancers mm -hmm. and sometimes the people losing that feeling you know because dancing for money or mm -hmm. dancing for be winning not at all so for me is dancing is for my pleasure mm -hmm. So, I think for me, it's everybody having this feeling as a great dancer. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Um, can I ask you a few questions that are not necessarily related to dance, but okay. you know, may help us to understand you yeah. as a person? Um, what do you do to relax when you are not working? Mm, driving. Driving? Yes. Really? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Um, because I love car. Okay. And I hate train. <laughs> <laughs> because if people haven't been to Japan, uh -huh. maybe people understand because Japan train is so annoying. <laughs> like no, but people are really polite over there. They queue up, you know, to get into the train. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's too many people. It's, it's yeah, almost it's true, every it's time it's packed. So it's getting me really stressed. Mm -hmm. So that's why I prefer to drive the car all the time. But you know, I drive when I drive the car. It's it's like my private space, yeah. and I can listening like my favorite songs. Mm -hmm. And always, I when I drive, I practice at the same time. Okay. So not as a physical hit, but in, in my in mind, mind, yeah. So I always dance with the music. That's cool. So. I hope. Don't get into a car accident. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what is the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? Um, okay. Confession. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> <laughs> tango. Tango? Yes. You've done tango. <laughs> Argentine tango? Wow, nice. No, I mean, I, I, 
I have to do it because of the job. Because uh -huh. I was doing the background dances uh, for singles. Oh, okay, okay. And one of the songs is tastes like a little tango thing. Uh -huh. So, like, we have to do like a little bit tango stuff in the routine, in the choreograph. So, we have to learn this. Uh -huh. So, then I went to the tango class, and it's, <laughs> it's not for me. It was not for me. I was like, oh my God. That's cool. I'm glad you're still sticking to the partner dancing after that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's totally different feeling for me. Okay. Um, what has been the proudest moment in your life so far? Mm. I don't know. But I can say right now, it's the most proud moment. Right now. Because here in, in New York, I used to live in here, but now I can come back for working. Mm -hmm. And also I can meet many people again. And also like my life is became like really my dreams come true. Because I'm, I'm just dancing mm -hmm. and I can go to many countries to see many peoples. This is perfect. Right now, my life is really perfect. So, That's this is amazing. the most time. And my final question. If you had any superpower in the world, what would it be and why? You mean superpower? Mm -hmm. If I have the superpower. Yeah, what, what kind of superpower? So, for example, you know, fly, be invisible, read minds, or, you know, stuff like that. Okay. Um, I want money. <laughs> wow! So all the millionaires are actually super, <laughs> super power then. I mean, but there is a reason uh -huh. because uh, I organized the events mm -hmm. and by myself without, without the sponsors mm -hmm. because I want to keep the pure feeling of the street dance. So event must be for hundred percent for dancers. Mm -hmm. So that's why I don't get any sponsors from the company. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to do event as a business. So I don't, I want to keep, I want to do event for dancers, like hundred mm percent. -hmm. So that's why I need the money because if I have money and I can do whatever I want to do for dancing. Mm -hmm. So I can make, this is my dream. So I, I can make the event in Japan and I can invite to everybody from the, all over the world to come to Japan, just exchange or just mm -hmm. having fun. So this is my next dream. So I want to make some kind of this event happen. So that's why I need the money. <laughs> <laughs> because if I don't get the sponsor, that means I can be a sponsor. If yeah. I can be a sponsor, then it'd be no problem. Yeah. So this is what I think. So that's why I'm working on this now. I'm working really hard to making money yeah. because of this. So I want to, because I want to, I, I really want to do something for the street dance community as a culture. Because people think the street dance can be entertainment, mm -hmm. really entertainment. But also, I think street dance must be a culture. Definitely. More. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why sometimes we need the money, but we don't care about the money. Because mm -hmm. this is like more deep stuff. It, this is a culture for me. Maybe I can make money by some other things. Then I want to spend the money for street dance. So this is what I do right now. Mm -hmm. So for my dancing, same time I make money, but it's not all about it. Mm -hmm. So I just make money for the next process. You know, I spend this money to make something new. Mm -hmm. So this is what I want to do. So that's why I said, if I have a superpower, <laughs> is I need the money. <laughs> <laughs> I get it now. Yep. Um, so yeah, that sums up our interview. Do you have any final comments or shout outs? Um, I just want to say, um, I want many people 
come to Japan mm -hmm. to see what's going on there because Japan is not the creators. But Japanese people are supporting all the street dance culture like really long time. Mm -hmm. If you have a chance, you have opportunity to come down to Japan, I, uh, I recommend to feel like how we do this. Mm -hmm. Even like we don't speak English. <laughs> so we don't, like even like people don't, people cannot communicate really well, but still we did the many stuff. So I think many countries can learn many stuff from Japan. So that's why I'm saying I hope everybody visit once in Japan to feel or to see the community in Japan. I hope so too. I think it's everyone's dream actually to go to Japan at mm. least once. Right. Yeah, I'm lucky to have been there. <laughs> Hopefully not the last time. So everybody, thank you very much for watching this interview. Thank you, Hiro, for your time. It's always very nice to see you and talk to you and dance yeah. with you and learn <laughs> from you and, you know, so many things. Um, if you guys want to find out more about Hero, the information is in the description. And also, if you're still not following Folk Stylers TV on YouTube and Twitter and Facebook and we're everywhere, so sign up right now. Follow us. And see you soon. Peace.